Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about no contact, will she forget about you? So will she forget about you during no contact? Okay, so the answer to this question is no, (laughs) okay? Mostly because she's not going to develop amnesia and just forget about you. No one can just wipe their memory like that, okay? Um... So yeah, she is not going to forget about you. She's always going to have some sort of memory of you, right? And she's not just going to forget about you completely. That's just impossible because we never usually forget anyone that we've had a romantic connection with unless it happened on a night that we got blackout drunk or something like that, right? Right, so she's not going to just forget about you, okay? And if you're worried about her forgetting about you, then what I would suggest that you do is work on this scarcity mindset because obviously you must be frightened that she's going to forget about you, that she's going to just, you know, just uh, not want to be with you anymore, lose interest in you completely and just disappear. So obviously you have a huge fear of that, okay? And that's not a good thing to have because it's giving her all of the power and it's making you feel weak and helpless and with low self-esteem basically and that's not a good place to be. It's not a good idea to to let someone have that amount of power over you. Definitely not, right? It's not a good idea for that to to be present. Okay, so you need to work on this scarcity mindset of losing someone because what you've got to realise is that she's either, if if you're applying the no contact rule, she's either going to come back or you're going to find someone better. That's the reality here. She's either going to leave and you're never going to hear from her again, potentially, right? Or you'll just find someone better in the future. And both of those scenarios are good. Okay, so the reason why both of those scenarios are good, even though the first one may have scared you a little bit, is that if she's not interested in you, if she no longer has any feelings towards you, then you don't want her in your life. You want someone who does want you. Because clearly she doesn't want you. Okay? Now what a lot of people get confused with is that they think that, yeah, but maybe she would have been more interested in me if I had done something, if I hadn't have applied the no contact rule, if I had continued to contact her, if I had told her this, if I had sent her this song, if I had said this, if I had done this in that way, right? But that's wrong, okay? That's not true. The only thing that would save this relationship from ending completely is, is by doing the no contact rule, Okay? Because if she's the one that started losing interest in you, interest in you, if she's the one that started to want to break up with you and broke up with you, okay, then it has to be her idea to come back. And no amount of you begging and pleading and then basically displaying a pity party is going to make her want you more. The only thing that can make her want you more is if you disappear and she starts to fear losing you. Okay, that's how you know if she loves you and cares about you. If she fears losing you, she will do something about it. She will reach out to you. She will contact you. Okay, so that's really important to know. So another reason why finding someone, and the other the, the other thing I said it was obviously that like either, either you're going to um, you get her back or you'll find someone better. So why is finding someone someone better better? Why is that good? Why is that a good case scenario? Well, it's obviously because you find someone better. You find someone else. You find someone who does actually want you, okay? Because those are the two options. Those are the two scenarios that are going to happen. You're either going to get this what, this girl back or you're going to find a better one. And both of those scenarios are good. Both of them, they truly are. Because if, she, if you get the old girl back, then that's great. Because obviously it means that she cared about you and she still loves you and she still wants you, which is why she started to fear losing you and then she started to pursue you, contacting you, okay? But if you find someone better, that is also good because... You get to be with someone who actually does want to be there. Okay, but what I would say to you and suggest to you is not to waste your time looking at the phone hoping that this ex-girlfriend or this girl that's lost interest is coming back. It's not a good idea to do that. It's not a good idea to waste your time hoping and wishing. You need to get on with your life. Okay, so if someone has lost interest in you and they've disappeared, right, essentially, or they've, they've broken up with you, you need to let that woman go. You have to let her go. Because um, no amount of you trying to make things work with her 
No amount of you begging or pleading is going to solve the issue. No amount of you even just being logical about it and just telling her the reasons, the logical reasons, the very logical, solid reasons that you may have for her to be with you. Because no amount of you chasing her is going to make her more attracted to you. Because what's technically happened here is that she feels like she is more attractive than you. Because the one that is more attractive is the one that's being chased after. So if you, so, so therefore she's the desired one and you're the beggar, you're the pauper, you're the one that's trying to get her. So ultimately this dynamic needs to shift. So you're the one that is more attractive. So she starts chasing you. And the best way you can do that is by going into no contact and therefore elici elici um, a, eliciting that fear in her to um, start missing you and fear losing you so she comes back. So that's how it works. That's why chasing and begging and trying to convince her and trying to stay in contact with her is not going to work because it's still going to make you look like the chaser and her the more attractive one. That dynamic needs to shift in order for her to come back. It really does. Okay. So don't wait by the phone though. Don't wait for her to con don't be waiting for her to contact you or anything like that. You need to move on with your life. Now I'm not saying that means you should jump in bed with the first woman that you start seeing and things like that give yourself some time work on some different things for a while you know don't just go straight into a new relationship especially if this one ended quite you know recently so give yourself some time to get over it to to think about it to 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 learn from any mistakes that you may have made to fill in your knowledge gaps about dating and relationships there's loads of uh, dating coaches on here it doesn't have to be my videos there's loads of people that you can you can you can get information from about how to improve your dating skills and your relationship skills and also it's a good idea to work on some good projects you know that give you a lot of inspiration that make you feel really good that make you feel ambitious and feel like you're you know achieving things in your life right and being productive that's a really good way to spend your time so don't dwell don't be idle, you know, keep yourself busy doing things that are productive, that are actually enhancing your life, not, you know, do, doing like the other, the, um, like dehancing your life, I suppose you could say, that are making your life worse, do things that are making your life better, so make sure that you stay up to top, you know, up, um, up to, you know, just stay in with your uh, fitness and getting exercise, um, make sure that you're doing that sort of thing, um, and you're eating the right things, um, and that you've got a lot of things that you can keep your mind preoccupied with because if you're doing the no contact rule it can be very tempting to just be sitting by the calendar and sitting by your phone and crossing off the days on the calendar keep on checking your phone to see if you've got a message yet it can be very tempting to do that but I'm suggesting that you take your mind off of the no contact rule for a while and this this girl in question and just do other things for a bit okay and while you're doing that try and get better at dating and relationships and then hopefully you'll find someone even better than her or maybe she will come back. But by the time you've improved your life and you've done all these cool changes, you may not even want this girl back, okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloverage.com and I shall talk to you again very soon. Bye.